And um, I told all the comedians, prepare well. These people are coming tomorrow. They're paying. Go to bed early. Be sensible. So my next comedian got mind-blastingly drunk, slept on a sofa, and dislocated his jaw. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Joe! Um, my name is uh, Joseph Murphy, and this is my uh, stand-up comedy act. Uh, I actually practiced it the other day in front of my mum and my sister, and afterwards they said, you're very brave to do that on stage, you know. And I was like, oh, that's nice. It'd be nice if you'd laugh. <laughs> um, yes, so let me start by saying that uh, um, in my short life, I've knocked a lot of people out, mainly myself, and uh, it all started when I was four years old, and my parents took me bowling for the first time, and I was so excited, and I threw the bowling ball up in the air, landed on my head, and knocked me unconscious. <laughs> oh dear. When I was eight years old, I went with my friend, uh, and we played that horseshoe uh, rib tossing game. Oh, I was so excited. So I uh, threw the horseshoe right at my friend's mum's face, so <laughs> down she went unconscious. He fortunately forgot about this story until I recently, drunkenly, unfortunately reminded him. And he's, he was not happy about it, no he wasn't. Anyway, I, was, I was, uh, thought I was over this particular trend until recently where I uh, played golf. <laughs> so I was at the old uh, driving range, uh, getting increasingly frustrated because I was crap. I was going, ah, mmm, and I was, oh, a bloody ball, and I whacked it so hard, and it went sideways, rebounded off a post, zoomed that way, and knocked the man to my right of me, unconscious. I didn't realise this, so I just carried on playing. It was only until my dad in the corner just went, oh, ah! So I went, ah! and I looked at him, and he was right there on the floor with a massive conker on his head. And I was like, oh my god, are you okay? And he was all like, oh god, what happened? And I said, I'm really sorry, I hit you in the face with a, ball, with a golf ball. And he said, but it's a driving range. <laughs> and I was, I was apologizing so much, and my dad started laughing uncontrollably. <laughs> staring at this guy with this massive conker on his head and, uh, and then the guy was like, oh, it was my school ball tonight and I was like, oh god, I'm so sorry, well maybe a girl will kiss you, I have sympathy, I'm so sorry and my dad was laughing so much, he started farting loads and it was horrible <laughs> he was just going, oh, 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 and he actually shit himself laughing <laughs> this guy with this massive conker on his head and before, <laughs> before he went to the toilet, he went, Joe, you are a twat <laughs> yes, my dad isn't very empathetic when it comes to bodily injuries once I was so excited because I thought there was a new episode of The Simpsons on that I jumped downstairs and caught my head on the ceiling. I had a 12 inch gash, 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 gash across my head, started bleeding blood everywhere. Blah, 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 blah. And I was right there on the carpet, and my dad stumbled across me. Oh, Joseph, don't get blood on the carpet, for God's sake, boy! What are we gonna do with you? And he stuck my head in the sink until the ambulance arrived. Yes, he is. <laughs> oh, Dad. <laughs> Anyway, um, yes, uh, I found myself in quite a few awkward positions in my life, both literally and obviously figuratively. I was uh, recently I was drinking in the park with my friend Charlie, you know, getting a bit blossomed. Anyway, I needed to a bit of a wheezy, so I went to the toilets and found they were closed. Oh no, what am I going to do? So I looked in the corner and it was a nice secluded uh, spot that had a fence in front of it that I could take a wee wee. So I jumped over the fence. Oh no, my leg. My trousers had become snagged upon a spike on the fence. Help! Help! Release me! Release me! I was there for half an hour, trying to struggle free, and as soon as I started wiggling, my bum became ever more prevalent. It was only until some erstwhile traveller, unfortunate man, walked past. You're wrong, mate. Oh, please, help! I've been here for half an hour! You were, uh, you a bit drunk, mate. Yes, very drunk, now please, unleash me. So he helped me down, I hit the floor. Thank you so much, Dad, thank you, thank you. So I went to go take my whittle, and I heard him on the phone to his girlfriend laughing about what just happened. And I was so nervous, I couldn't even wee. I just had to fake it. Ah! <laughs> so, I, so I thanked the man, jumped back over the fence, and ran back to my friend Charlene. And she said to me, Joe, where the hell have you been for the last 40 minutes? And I said, no time to explain! We need to find a pub toilet now! <laughs> yes, yes, I have found myself in a few awkward positions. Oh, I once actually had sex uh, with a girl. <laughs> it, was, it was great. Uh, well, it didn't end very well, as you'll find. Uh, anyway, so the poor lass woke up in a hungover, disheveled mess next to yours truly, and I uh, had the bright idea of 
going into town, I told her, why don't you bunk off work and let's go grab a Subway sandwich. And she was too hungover to really say no, so off into town we went. And oh no, her boss was right there and she saw us. And she said, oh, I said, quickly, into the bank. So we ran into the bank. And she said, oh my gosh, she saw us, what are we gonna do, what are we gonna do? And I said, don't worry, I'll tell her that we went into the bank to get the money for the medicine. So we went outside and the boss was staggering. I thought you said you were sick today. And I said, no, no, we were just getting the money for the medicine. And she said, who are you? And I said, I'm Joe, we, we just met last night. And the girl turned around to me, looking awfully grumpy. Haven't seen her since. Well, that was uh, my stand-up comedy act. Next time I'll tell you about the time I bit the end of my tongue off and when I uh, got tangled in barbed wire and a guy punched me in the face because I ruined his night. But until then, have a great day. <laughs>